This is the Daily Pulse from Speak My Word Ministries. I'm Travis Zimmerman. Continuing on our lessons here about what God taught us on a nationwide trip across America and back. And this is this is one of my this is a very bizarre one. It's called this episode is simply entitled Killer Mosquitoes. The verse I want to share with you that ties into this is 1 Peter 5, 8. And this is actually the memory verse our family has you know, over the past two weeks. I thought I had it memorized, but I don't. So I'm going to read the first part of 1 Peter 5, 8. And it's, it's sobering, actually very sobering. That's why we committed it as a, as a memory verse for our family. Be self-controlled and alert. Remember your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. First Peter chapter five verse eight. You know, be, in other words, pay attention. You know, the, the devil is not this little tiny figurine that you see sometimes. You know, parodied in, in, in cartoons. It's like a little figure. You know, Go ahead and do it. And there's a little pitchfork. No, no, he's not. He's much greater than that. But remember that the the uh, equally bad error is to assume that the devil is somehow equal to God. Like there's God and then there's the devil and there there. You know, he's the evil opposite of God. No, not even close. Not even close. God is sovereign. He rules over his, his, his creation. Yes, evil was allowed to enter that creation, but it's only as we learned several days ago, the devil is, is circumscribed. He's, he's, he's only allowed to go out of certain bounds. And eventually, as we know from Revelation, that time is coming when he will be no more. I can't wait. So, again, but the, the characterization remains is he's like a roaring lion. He's like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, Paul says. Resist him. So how that ties into the killer mosquitoes is this. One of the last stops, I think it was it was second to last stop that we had. It was in Bellevue, Nebraska. We just met up with our good friends, the Daisies. Had dinner with them and went off to this, this RV park. And it was only $20. Like, way cheap. I'm like, wow, we got a huge bargain. You know, this, this is, we should have stayed at places like this all the time. Well, it was right along the Missouri River. And that didn't really spark anything for me. And we pulled in right around dusk. You know, in standard spiel, you know, it wasn't a lot of people there. And I saw a lot of tiki torches. Thinking, yeah, it's kind of curious. And so I backed into a place and... Then I changed it, and when I went out and changed it, I noticed there was these things looked like crane flies. You know, you know, if you've ever seen a crane fly, it looks like a large mosquito, and they're, they're innocuous, they, at least to us. They don't do anything, and they're easily caught, very slow, and don't bother you. So I saw a lot of these crane flies <laughs> around until these crane flies, I realized, weren't crane flies, and they started biting us. They're called gallinipper mosquitoes. You know, that, that's kind of the, the folksy term for it. And whereas a mosquito might be this big, these mosquitoes, and this is not like a fisherman story, you know, it was this big. These mosquitoes were as big as a quarter and aggressive, and they could bite through clothing. So we're out there, you know, you know hooking up the hose and doing all the things to get, the, get everything set up for the night, and we're being attacked. I mean, they're just coming after us, and the kid's like, Dad, there's, these are mosquitoes. And we realized, oh, my Lord. So, you know, you see the movies where there's an alien outside, and people are terrified. And, you know, this is a little bit like that. These big mosquitoes, they would not leave us alone. They were just swarming on us. So we jumped in the air, we closed the door, and, and I, I, I issued an edict that said, hey, nobody goes outside at all. You know, the dogs go to, you pee on the floor, we'll clean it up, but we're not going outside until daylight. And even with that, when we got inside, you know, we, we started seeing mosquitoes. There were 14 mosquitoes with us throughout the night there. One of them had blood. It was right in my pillow. I smashed blood everywhere. You know, and here we're being you know, terrified by these little mosquitoes. that are I mean, they're big mosquitoes by, by in terms of mosquitoes, but as far as you know, relative size, they're relatively small. And the lesson I learned from that is that's like the devil. The devil, we can't see the devil you know, swarming around us and his demons, but make no mistake. And Peter doesn't either. First Peter 5, 8, be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him. We don't resist him by smacking him. We resist him by looking at Jesus Christ and standing firm in Christ, confessing our sins and saying, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you. Get out of here. You know, until that time, you know, that's another way to build our relationship with Christ is to hold on him tightly, even as these attacks come, even, you know, whether it's a mosquito or the, you know, the, the, the roaring lion that Peter characterizes the devil being, we need to rely on the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ, the true lion, the true king, and kick that devil out of there in Jesus' name. Amen.